All right, ladies and gentlemen and mobile accomplishers, here we have the next dock right here in beautiful Walnut Creek. And uh, right now it's connected to my, connected to my um, uh, Lumia 950XL. Suddenly I have forgotten how to talk. I'm here at very noisy Starbucks. And uh, as you can see, everything's working fine. You might remember the video that uh, Windows Central did and uh, Daniel Rubino, who I'm a huge fan of, uh, he was having a lot of weird connectivity issues where it was really chunky. And the reason why that was happening was because um, there seems to be something weird with the Windows Phone uh, where if you're in the Bluetooth screen searching for uh, devices, uh, the, uh, the mouse cursor is very, very slow and herky-jerky and stuff like that. So um, uh, Emery, uh, the uh, founder and CEO of Next Computing, actually sent a sample to Microsoft. So uh, they've got one and uh, they're going to see if they can get that fixed, which is pretty cool. So um, it's hard to see from here. Let's see if I can tilt this forward a little bit. This is a little backlight. The screen's not crazy bright, but I mean, it's not really... I don't think it's really, really mainly for outdoors. I think this is more of a more of an indoor thing. You can absolutely use it outdoors, but I wouldn't say in direct sunlight. Um, I have had a chance to use the keyboard a little bit. I like it. It's, I would say it's the equivalent of um, just kind of a normal netbook keyboard. Like here's my Lenovo um, S100, a little netbook, which is uh, slow, <laughs> but it gets the job done. So just bringing it over to one side, you've already seen all this. So here's your uh, micro HDMI, here's your Bluetooth, here's your uh, five volts in for, it's a barrel connector, it's not USB. I don't know what that button is or what that little thing is. Uh, how this works is he described it to me is uh, you have a caps lock and a num lock, of course, but the power light, uh, when it gets down to roughly 10% or so, uh, will start to blink orange. That's your main battery status. Uh, he also has two, um, Microphone ports here. He said those work via USB, but they're not like a headset Bluetooth or anything like that. This webcam here also works via USB. We're going to try that really quickly. And then uh, over here on this side, you've already seen, but uh, you have a headphone jack, um, you have another USB port, and then you have a micro SD card slot. And that micro SD card slot is available via USB. So think of it as a USB memory card reader. Okay. Um, the touchpad. Uh, has a slight texture to it, but it's very smooth. Um, I really like it. It's a bit of a, it's kind of a loud click, but it's a very firm click, which I like. Some people might not like that. It also supports um, j just a regular tap. And um, also, two finger scrolling, if I can do both of these, um, also works uh, pretty nicely, I think. So um, it is a 14 inch, uh, but it feels good for the weight. It has a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. Um, I also like how he added um, a little nub here. I had seen this in the videos, but um, uh, I wasn't sure what it was. Now I've had a chance to hold this thing in person. Um, there's a little nub there, and I think that helps to support the, the back middle of it a little bit, uh, should it need it. And then here's something that I've never seen on a video right here. This thing actually does have speakers built in. Okay, the white balance is completely crap, but... Um, but yeah, this thing actually does have speakers built in, and uh, those will be available through USB as well. Think of it as like a USB sound card, so. All right, this is part two. Um, we are still at Starbucks here in beautiful Walnut Creek, and uh, I've had a chance to uh, play around here with the pre-production version of the next stock, which is basically the same thing as the retail version. Um, and as you can see here, my phone is charging, plugged into the next dock, and how do I do this? Well, it turns out, this little adapter here, by uh, I'm guessing a Chinese manufacturer, one by one, uh, has the appropriate connectors on it. Sorry if this video is a bit shaky. And so we have a USB-C uh, right there, we have a uh, HDMI right there, and then we have a um, USB port there. I haven't tested the USB port to see if it would show up as like, if you could plug a flash drive or something into it, but I imagine it would probably work. And then of course here's the next dock running. This is my phone's desktop, so you can even hit the Windows key. The menu pops up, which is pretty nice. So, yep, that is a way to use your next dock with Windows Phone and actually charge it while it's working. And everything works just fine. So, look at that. The mouse works pretty nice. All right, we're still here at Noisy Starbucks, and I'm still here with the uh, pretty, really cool looking next dock, 14-inch. Uh, and I've got it hooked up via a mini HDMI to HDMI cable here. Folks, this one's about one and a half feet long. 
And uh, you can see I've got my uh, display properties up here. And so we can minimize that. And then if we come over here, we can actually see we have Windows Central. And this laptop does not support two-finger scrolling. That's this laptop, not this thing. This thing actually does support two-finger scrolling. In fact, I could probably Bluetooth connect this to this, which I don't have right now, and then probably get two-finger scrolling. But uh, <laughs> anyway, so we'll grab the scroll bar here. And we can scroll along, see Windows Central, which is one of my favorite websites because I'm a Windows nerd. And um, yeah, this actually works really well. Just like in the video you saw, you can grab things, move it over, and uh, it works really, really well. It's really smooth. Um, I keep trying to use this keyboard, which is really funny. You could Bluetooth these two together, actually, um, and, uh, and then have a keyboard and mouse. Maybe use this as a secondary monitor, since this monitor is actually larger. Same resolution between these two, but uh, that one is a little bit larger. So yeah, that's working just fine. And uh, everything here is running off battery, and uh, it really looks really good. So, uh, just to give a size comparison, let's go ahead and unplug this. Now, the next dock actually automatically turns off after a few seconds after you unplug it. So, just to give you a size comparison, this is a 11.6-inch uh, display, and this is a 14-inch LCD. And so, you can see, um, and there's a big 10,000 milliamp-hour battery in here. It's got a really nice weight to it. I don't remember if I mentioned that in any of the other videos. It feels like a laptop, but that's probably mostly battery, um, which is nice because you might be running other things like a Raspberry Pi or something like that. So we'll close these out. And again, you can get an idea of the size difference there. And um, so you can even see like, so there's your, there's your All right, this is the last part. Um, basically, here's my 17-inch Lenovo Y700 laptop. Uh, it's a pretty big laptop, and then way over there is the next dock, 14 inch, and that's a little hard to tell. There we go, you can kind of get an idea. You know, it's still a pretty decent size, very usable 14 inch size, I think. Amrei said that uh, they've never tried to plug a gaming laptop in. It. In fact, has, has any uh, gaming ever actually happened on next dock? Okay, so this is a first. We're going to play Unreal Tournament on the uh, next dock and see what happens. All right, this is a next dock first. We're going to play Unreal Tournament on the next dock. It is still plugged into my gaming PC. Let's see how it does. Uh, I may need to adjust Unreal, uh, or hopefully it'll adjust itself because this is a lower resolution display than the full HD display on my uh, gaming laptop. And I uh, apologize about the glare. It's pretty bright in here. So it looks like it's happy. See, everything seems okay. So we'll just do a quick match. And I don't know how I'm gonna reach the <laughs> keys. Oh, that's all. Yeah. Let's see if I can. Nah, I'd rather have it be. I'd rather have it be. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. There we go. I'd rather have it stationary. Okay, so we're gonna go to challenges. We'll just do one of the uh, easy ones. All right. Now this does have built-in speakers, we tested it, the speakers do work, and uh, wow, that's, that's actually pretty reasonably good uh, uh, response rates. You know, this is not a gaming display at all. Uh, this is a display to get work done, browse the web, watch videos. Oh, right. <laughs> Alright, so I, this is not Bluetooth to the, uh, to the next dock, I'm using the keyboard and uh, I'm using a mouse and I'm using the keyboard on my display. And uh, we do have volume on, but it's not uh, it's not coming through very well. Whoop. Hurt somebody with that thing. Now these bots are set to super easy, stand around and get shot at mode. And I, I don't know how well this is coming through on the video. Whoop, somebody just shoot at me? Oh. <laughs> there we go, I am a rocket scientist. Uh, in this game. <laughs> I prefer the rocket launcher, also known as the Noob Tube. Oops. <laughs> See the bots just stand around. So, yeah, you can use the next dock as a gaming display if you want to. It's not too bad. I plan on using this as a secondary display at LAN parties 
have Skype running, uh, any other kind of uh, stats or anything like that. Some games actually specifically support dual monitors, and this is just an HDMI monitor. So you could have this uh, showing uh, stuff if the game actually specifically supports dual monitors, which is pretty cool. People are more asking about if they can hook it up to their PlayStation or Xbox. So. I would think you could, um, as long as it as long as it uh, will scan the. Um, basically, I don't know if you could hear, but basically. Um, Apparently, people are asking, hey, can I plug this into my comp gaming console? And uh, I would say yes. I think there's enough per performance here um, that uh, you can game on this thing pretty comfortably. This thing actually has better uh, pixel refresh rate than my... <laughs> forgot I was carrying the rocket launcher. Pixel refresh rate than my TV at home. So no blurring or anything like that. Uh, it looks just fine. Oop. One more. Come on. <laughs> All right, that'll do. All right, so this has been uh, a pretty neat look at the next stock uh, a couple of days before the crowdfunding over on Indiegogo finishes, and uh, I am pretty impressed. So thanks everybody for watching, and um, uh, big thanks to the next stock team who has uh, come out and taken carved a little time out of their day for a little me. So uh, thank you very much.